Oh, Jesus. Oh, knock? What is it, the attic? I don't think anybody's gonna answer, and if they do, I don't think you want them to. Happy Halloween, ghouls and goblins. Welcome back to the Halloween Crossroads channel. I am your host, the Scarecrow. Welcome to a new game. Well, new game for me anyway. A playthrough of a new game for me, Black Mirror. I don't know a whole lot about this game. But I know that it's supposed to be spooky and scary. And we are going to check it out. I guess I'm this guy. Run away. It says to move the camera, but it, it doesn't move that much. Okay. Yeah, I know virtually nothing about this game. Are we not allowed to go in there? I guess not. Okay, fine. I didn't want to go in the creepy cavern anyway. I think this is just like a free part of the game preface if you will I don't think this is the main part not the boy okay what am I interacting with Failed you, son. That's not creepy at all. Forgive me. Forgive me. I will let you down no longer. Forgive me. Forgive me. What are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> I, heard you. I get the feeling that he's hearing voices. I don't think there's anybody actually there. Okay, we're only running out in the open then. Where am I going? Make up your mind. Yeah. So I'm not turning the camera angle. It seems like they're doing it intentionally. What the hell? It, like, is a way to convince me which way to go? Oh, a banshee. I like it already. Make me to walk in the path of thy commandments. Coward. Stonehenge? You betrayed your family. Take? Are you taking a nap? You're too late! You will not get him! Oh yeah, he's lost his damn mind. It'll work. It must. It must. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. I thought he was gonna start walking away. Be safe, my son. Yeah, I thought he was gonna start walking away, you know, all lit on fire, rough and tough, and then he just like, eh. It was with great joy that I received your last letter. 
Know that you are missed terribly here in India. If my calculations are correct and the International Postal Service is kind, this letter will keep you company as you make the final leg of your journey to Scotland. I hesitate to say anything for fear you'll think me foolish, even hysterical. Your father made it his life's work to research his family's twisted history. This and his obsession with the occult combined to unravel his poor mind. John loved his family and his family home, but he hated and mistrusted them in equal measure. Son, beware of the Gordons. Blood is not always thicker than water. Your loving mother. Blood isn't always thicker than water. Explain that to me. Examine. Examine the window. Jump out the car while it's going. Can we just look at this? Family of snakes? Because key? Beware key. Okay. Sure. Oh, there's multiple. Oh, this is a weird ass game. Family of snakes. Key. Yeah, I don't need to click on all of these. I can read them without that. Okay, cool. Right, let's get out of here. Can you look in the box now? Peekaboo! Oh my god. This might be a long game. A note about a library. A key and, and some sort of broken toy. Should I even try to read any real meaning into all of this? Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna have to... I change the settings, because I, I got a headset on, I can't even hear what the hell he's saying. And the speech is all the way up. Okay, anywho. We have arrived, sir. Oh, I didn't even get to look out the window. You bastards. Yeah, there you go. We have arrived. Get your head knocked off by a stray tree branch. Kaboop. Game over. So in case anybody's wondering, this is not like the show that's on Netflix. The name is a coincidence. Welcome, Mr. Gordon. I'm Andrew Harrison. Mr. Harrison, it's good to finally meet you. From our correspondence, I expected you to be older. Ah, uh, thank you. I lead the way. It's quite dark already. We can continue to talk inside. Creepy. Oh my god. Have some loading screens. arrived, my lady. David, welcome to Skahandu House. Oh, something Lady Black Margaret, House. How kind of you to welcome me in person at such a late hour. Skahandu. Duv is the Irish word for black. An but impressive building. Skahandu, though. Unusual. What, what is its meaning? Unusual only if you have not bothered mirror, to study Gaelic. It means Black Mirror House. Many generations of the Gordon family have been master of this house. It is a great responsibility. Perhaps the greatest a man could bear. Oh. If I may, I would like to know more about my father's last days. It is too late in the day for such morbid talk. You do look so very much like John, though. Angus, please show Sands Master David hair. to his room. 
Yes, ma'am. I trust you had a pleasant journey. This place is rather remote, even for Scotland. It was most pleasing, thank you. I was fortunate enough to stop off in several fascinating places on my way here. How long have you been practicing law? I came to the bar a few years ago. I'm at Chambers in Edinburgh with lawyers who have served the Gordon family for generations. I'm embarrassed to ask, but it is my job. Have you proof of who you say you are? You are David Gordon, son of the late John Gordon. Please, I quite understand. Here you are. I smell a rat. I think they're all looking to do him in. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what a he knows curious what that object. Is. Okay, we're just gonna stand and look at each other? Sure, Isn't let's tell it? the truth. It belonged to my father. He posted it to me shortly before his death. I'm not at all sure what it is. Perhaps it's something else returning home where it belongs. Like its new owner. Have a good night, Master David. I shall continue my studies. You continue your studies. Uh, please follow me, Master David. Master David? So what I did know about this game was that the father killed himself in some some unknown or unbelievable way and and the son has come to investigate. So obviously we've seen why that is and at least have some inkling he didn't just kill himself because it was you know Your grandfather, depressed or anything. His like Lordship that. Edward Gordon. There's some spookiness involved. Oh, jeez, this is a weird-ass game already, though. There is no denying it. We are family. We are family. What are these Somebody things? still cares. Maybe you weren't as bad as Mother believed. Huh. Okay, I don't know... how to get that one. I wonder if that's how you leave? Alright, fine, screw you then. I didn't want to look at that shit anyway. Housekeeping! Magnificent! And that below? is the master's study, sir, but there'll be plenty of time to examine it in the light tomorrow. Am I not the master? Uh, this way, I suppose sir. it's hard to keep things dry, what with all the rain you get here. A most amusing, Master David. We do our best, sir. None of us are as young as we used to be. Oh, see. So so you should be fired for younger models, is that what you're saying? I've annoyed the old fellow enough. First impressions count. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, if he had turned on a light, I don't even know where the hell he went. I don't know what the year is either. If I remember right, it's, it's the beginning of the 1900s, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> It does that sometimes, sir. Yeah, especially considering when it wasn't even, like, time. It was like eight past. I've never seen a grandfather clock chime at anything a other lady than 15 Gordon minutes. Lady Gordon expects you for breakfast at eight, sir. Thank you. No, no, breakfast at lady eight. Lady Gordon called you Angus? Uh, pleased to meet you, Angus. Yes, sir. She did. I am Mr. McKinnon. Uh, Mr. McKinnon? Yes. Um, I'd advise you not to leave the room tonight. Ticking clocks are not the worst thing you may encounter in the house at night, if you don't know your way around. Sleep well, sir. Sleep well, sir. Maybe he's more of a morning person. Welcome to Skull and Door. Examine fire. Tis hot. Oh, okay, fine. We'll examine I the painting then. I turned around following Angus through the house. Sorry, Mr. McKinnon. But I think my room is probably around here somewhere. Hold on. This looks like... Wait a moment. Castle? This is a piece of a model. Nice. A model of the castle. This just got really interesting. 
It's kind of like Indian and Jones. Could ever be properly warm. Yeah. Well, you know, when you have a castle, that's what kind of shit happens. Do the hokey pokey and I turn myself around. That's because I don't know what I'm doing. I can barely see my hand in front of me. Maybe tomorrow. Everything I ever owned could fit in there. Five times over. Nice. Well, that's because it's the gateway to Narnia. Wait, I can't even see any. Glad I don't have to carry you around anymore. Mr. McKinnon lifted you up with ease. Oh, Jesus. Without some obscure local law that required me being here in person, I would probably never have come. <laughs> A pigeon amongst the cats. Sorry to inform you of death of John Gordon. Stop. Please return to Skahundu House. Stop. Andrew Harrison, lawyer. Stop. Hey, Lucy narrates his own shit. That's cool. This one's filling up. Oh, yeah, you cries fall on deaf ears, buddy. We can't go anywhere. This handsome, cheery, sober man is not the one I remember from my childhood. Interesting. So dad was a drunk? Or a bit hmm. up? Not many matches left. Okay, well now that we've uh, completely scoured the contents of your briefcase, I mean suitcase, we uh, see if I can fix the gamma on this, because I can barely see a damn thing. I don't know, does it help to go up or down? Oops. Oh uh, yeah, that wasn't it. I made it darker. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's so much better. Now I can actually see shit. Okay, examine. What are we examining? Didn't I just examine this for a suitcase? I did. Fuck off. Okay, we examining bed and therefore climbing My into it. Friend shit. Insomnia. I wonder if Andrew has left the library yet. Ah, we had to find the library and therefore Andrew and uh, stumble around in the fucking dark until we do so. Oh, what do we got here? Open! Open sesame! Ah, yes, Pieces the candlestick. Of some kind of drawing. How odd. Oh, that's not what I gathered. The candle is nearly gone, but it should do for a while once lit. Okay, well, take it. Ah, it was Colonel Mustard in the den with the candlestick. Oh, what are we examining now? In an old house like this one, sooner or later no drawer stays empty. Alrighty then, so I guess we go and find ourselves some Andrew. Wait a minute, what's that on the wall? Can I look at that? Nope, who gives a shit? Okay, fine. Controls need a little work. We're escaping. <sighs> oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to be a long game. More pieces of the same drawing. Maybe I can make out what it shows if I had enough of them. Examine the clock. We meet again, old foe. Okay. Is that it? We're just meeting again. Like, I see you. Eyeballing the clock. Okay, I guess we gotta find our way to the library. I think no, we found it. Right, there should be a room here. No, this isn't what I need either. Where is it? Do nothing. Just listen. Keep listening. Eavesdropping, Mr. Gordon. That's hardly proper. Damn it, I've been discovered. 
Run away! Or Ghosts, legends, ancient history. Where's the rest of them? Probably on his desk. He's looking for something. Okay. Where the hell are the stairs, damn it? Aha. Oh no. No more reading, please. What up? Er Jesus Christ. If you don't mind, I have a system and don't want to mix things up. Lady Gordon is very keen on confidentiality. Of course. Hiding something, are we? I see. We're getting his, uh, what he's thinking. We're getting his mental narration. Did you know my father? I was called to the house shortly after your father arrived. Why did that need a lawyer? Those complex local laws I spoke of were to blame. Your father left when Edward died, so none of the required legal formalities to transfer the house were observed. Does that mean...? Not at all. There will be no issue with transferring the estate to your name, if that is what you wish. That looks... daunting. Daunting, but rewarding and fascinating. Fascinating? fascinating. Yes, indeed. The history of the Gordon family goes back a long way. So it's true we are one of the oldest families in Scotland? Oh, much more than that. The Gordons have owned this land back into antiquity, before records were even kept. Add to that some unique and unusual local laws. Well, it can be a challenge, but a welcome one. Uh, have you had a chance to examine my papers? I have, and am delighted examine to say that papers. everything is in order. Have you had a chance to examine my boots? I would not be doing my job if I didn't warn you that with Edward dead and your father absent, the family fortune has somewhat diminished over the years. However, the real treasure is the castle and the grounds themselves. I haven't spent as much time as I'd like here, but it is a unique place. I noticed that the door to the master's study is locked. Might I get a key for it? Of course. I will see to it that you are supplied with one, if there is one available. No door should be locked to the soon-to-be owner, after all. Well, Indeed. it's been a long day. I bid you good night. I'll get myself Although something I to suspect. read and then head to bed too. Good night. Although I suspect there will be some locked doors to the owner. To the new owner. Until you stumble across whatever the hell everybody's hiding. And I'm pretty sure they're hiding something. Okay. Quest log updated. Well, I have no idea what the hell I'm looking for now. So. Nah. Well, ghouls and goblins. That's all the time I have for now, as I'm due back out in my field. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and click the little bell underneath the video, so you can catch more parts of this interesting spooky game that we've started playing but in the meantime thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one <laughs>